your car. I say opposite. You need to raise it. <laughs> What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fabtown. Today I'm going to be tackling some tasks on the War Skids 240. I've already went ahead and did some things. I'll insert some clips of me adding the crossbar in now. But I also went ahead and blocked off the firewall with some plugs that I made out of some plate steel. Because the firewall when you go to Pro-Am has to be bulkheaded, has to be blocked off, can't have any extra holes in there. That's obviously for fire reasons. So I went ahead and did that along with removing the heater core and the uh, OEM dash bar. We don't really need that in this you know, scenario because we already have a dash bar in the car. So I modified that a little bit and added a plate to stiffen up the steering column. So that's all good to go. And now I'm looking at possibly putting the Jay-Z back in the car. I went ahead and put the steering rack back in. And we are waiting on some steering rack bushings, but just for now, we can do that afterwards. We were kind of held up on that. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and push. Plus I have nothing else to really do at the moment. And this thing's kind of in the middle of the shop. So I figured we'd throw the Jay-Z in and probably, you know, tidy up some stuff, maybe work on the tube front a little more, get the radiator position mocked up, and maybe modify the water uh, neck off the motor and possibly the throttle body, maybe mount some intercooler stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and set the camera up. Okay, the motor's up in the air, and I went ahead and installed the uh, clutch release fork, or the clutch fork that goes to the slave cylinder. That's always a pain in the ass on these R154s. There's a little tiny C-clip that holds in a pin that holds the fork in because these pull instead of push. It's just a real pain in the ass, but thankfully that's all done. I was able to maneuver my grubby little mitts in there to pop that C-clip in. Now I am pretty much ready to go ahead and put the motor back in. I have to grab the motor mounts out of the trunk and then slide her in. And then once it's in there, oh, I also went ahead and put the starter back on while it was out. I figured that would be a lot easier than doing it in the car. Then once this thing is in, I want to go ahead and possibly mock up the turbo stuff along like with the, what I said with the filler neck and the tube front. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this hooker back in the hole. All right, well, as you can see, the motor is in. I uh, was fitting up this radiator because I wanted to get it positioned and everything in front of the car once I had the motor in, because that was the whole point of putting the motor in. And we used to have a tube that went from this water neck and had like a little rubber grommet and then went down and then had another rubber grommet, and that was kind of janky. So I went ahead and just cut that off, capped it, and then moved this over here and I had this nice piece of uh, radiator hose, or I guess aluminum tubing, and went ahead and welded it up, got it kind of positioned at an angle, because I wanted the radiator to be slightly back, and I didn't want to have that janky tube, and in order to get the radiator back further, I needed to make it so that it would kind of follow this notch of the VVTI solenoid and everything like that off the cam, and it fits perfectly, which is awesome. And I just happened to have a hose on top of that box that fit that little section. The next thing I'm gonna do is probably weld or fabricate something for that tube to match up to this hose to do the same thing, kind of remove 
uh, any leaky points or any potential things because right now we have a hose, a piece of aluminum, a coupler. It's just kind of jank. So I might do that. Other than that, I'm pretty stoked to have the motor back in and not over there on the ground, kind of in the way. And that just means we're one step closer to getting this thing squared away. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know if I got to show you guys the X bar, but there's the X bar. And uh, the steering columns all welded up and everything like that. And the dash bar is out. So that's cool. I think that's going to be it for today's video. I am getting a little tired and I kind of got a good headache going, so I'm going to deuce out for uh, for now. But I'll be back tomorrow morning bright and early to keep jobbing on this thing and hopefully get us pretty close to being done with it. So that way we can keep prepping with all the rest of the fab stuff for the tube front end. And then when we get a fender and hood, we can make mounts for fenders and hood and bash bars and bumpers and then get this thing running and ripping again. So. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that and thanks for like, excuse me, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. Make sure to leave a comment below, tell me how I'm doing. Thanks guys, see you again next time. Blah, 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 blah.